young people. I pray you are having an amazing day. We are so glad you chose to join us for this Super Saturday session of Emmanuel Baptist Church Children's Church Online. I'm super psyched today because we are blessed to have the best child evangelist in the world joining us today, Deacon Joshua Hamilton. And also it's his birthday, y'all. So we want to give a big shout out to him. Some happy 30 birthday wishes to Deacon Josh. Let's give it up to him by big, giving him a big hello wave and praising God for his birthday. Young people, have you ever thought about how big God's love is for us? It is so huge that God the Father couldn't keep it all in heaven to himself. So he sent Jesus the Son down to earth so that we could share in the gigantic love and truly know what love is. Young people, today we will learn about, you guessed it, God's love for us and what that means for his children. But before we do, let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for sending your son to us. Thank you for sending his light into this dark world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Young people, the God we serve, he also has a standard. He is excellent. So we must try to do things the best way that we know how. And God is so amazing that he gave us Jesus. And Jesus came as a standard. He teaches us how to love. He teaches us how to sacrifice. And he teaches us what is right from wrong. And when God came down, he gave us the best Bible verse ever in John 3.16. So let's listen together at John 3.16. Hey, come on and listen with me. Hey friends, do you know how much God loves us? Come on and sing with me. Let's go. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Let's sing. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. That's right. Whoever All right, young people, John 3.16 is the most well-known verse in the Bible. In fact, it's one of the first verses I've ever learned. This famous verse is important because it tells us about the wonderful love that God has for his creation. This verse is a promise and upholds the hope that we as Christians, that there is an eternal life waiting for those who believe in Jesus. Back in Genesis, we learned that sinfulness entered the entire world because of the sins of Adam and Eve, the first man and woman ever created. God therefore sent his, son, his beloved son Jesus as the perfect sacrifice to save us from our sins. John 3.16 shows us how great God's love for the world is that he would be willing to offer up his own son for us. It is because of God's great love that those of us who believe in Jesus and follow him will gain eternal life. Now, let's take a look at a video called John 316. Come on. <laughs> 
and watch it with me. Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn the verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Looks like you're ready. John 3, 16. God loved the world mwah, so much that he gave his one and only son. Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, will you say the verse again for us? Sure. Repeat after me. John 3, 16. John 3, 16. God loved the world. Mwah. God loved the world. Mwah. So much. So much. That he gave. That he gave. His one and only son. Mwah. Mwah. His one and only son. Mwah. Mwah. Friends, I think you've got it. Now say it with us. John 3.16 God loved the world Mwah. so much that he gave his one and only son. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Good job, friends. God showed his love by giving us Jesus. All right, so in this lesson, we learned that God loved the world so much, he sent Jesus to save us. We should remember that God's love is unlike any other love in this world. Second, Jesus gave his life for us to live forever. And then last but not least, one day we'll get to go to our heavenly home to be with Jesus. Our memory verse today comes from John chapter 10, verse 28, and it says, I give them life forever with God. They will never die. No one can, nobody can ever take them away from me. And I praise Deacon Josh for joining us today on his birthday. Woo and we thank God that he's already on the best team in the world. And if you want to be like Deacon Josh and be on Team Jesus, I invite you to join his team. Because of God, we can live and never die. And it's such an amazing promise that God gave us. And the only way to get that promise to be true is to join God's team and believe in him. And if you'd like to do that, you could just pray this simple prayer with me. Dear God, I wanna live in heaven forever with you. I know that I've sinned and I know that you died on the cross to save me from my sins. Come into my heart, make me right in your sight. Because I want to be on your team, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And if you just prayed that prayer and your heart was sincere and true, welcome, welcome, welcome to the best family on the planet. Team Jesus. Woo! And I'm just thanking God for all of you who decided to make that decision to make Jesus your choice. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray that your love and your light will shine through us, God. Change us, Lord God. Make us new and make us whole. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Young people, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3, 16. We've been talking about it all day. I pray that if you didn't know that verse before that you know it very, very, very well by now. Because it talks about how big God's love for us is so big, we can't even measure it. We don't have a container we could put it in and even think about figuring out how much it is. All we need to know is that God's love is big, it's wide, it's high, and it's deep. And we can have it by believing in Jesus. Pastor Nichols and First Lady Nichols, along with the entire Emmanuel Baptist Church family, would like to thank you so much for sharing with us today. We pray that you'll join us again next Saturday, same time, 6 p.m., for the next session of Emmanuel Baptist Church Children's Church Online. Spread the word. We want everyone to be blessed hearing about the goodness of God. We pray that if you're in the area, you come to Emmanuel Baptist Church at 2409 Angel Place Southeast. On Sundays, we have Sunday school at 9 o'clock. And we have service at 10. And now we also have service at 12 p.m. So you get two chances to worship with us. And we pray that we'll see your face all in the place. And remember, always be good for God and always be good to each other. Bye for now.